Peace talks suffer as WK descends on Atiku's men. And Nigerians want actions. Atheni Ferris slams Bahari as terrorists release seven more passengers from the Kaduna Abuja train attack. This is Plus Politics. I am Mary Anakon. There were indications on Monday that the reconciliation talks between Governor Nyesom Wiki of River State and the presidential flag bearer of the People's Democratic Party, uh, vi former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, had collapsed. It suffered a major setback as Wiki again threatened to disappoint those underestimating his state. Things have not been rosy between Wike and Atiku following the former vice president's decision to nominate Governor Ifanyo Kowa of Delta State as his running mate. Wike and his associates were reported to have demanded the resignation of the national chairman of the party, Yocha Ayu, as a condition for him to work for Atiku. However, some leaders in the party dismissed Wike's demand. The River State Governor, Yesen Wike, has also defended his reasons for inviting members of the opposition political parties to commission projects in the state. The governor said he wants them to come and see what he has done and to take the message back home. Well, joining us to have this conversation is Dr. Chidi Lloyd, a former member of the River State House of Assembly, Ogbona Muke, PDP stalwart in River State, and Chief Isaac Obot Obobola, uh, the immediate past chairman of the All Progressive Congress Kertika Committee. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for being part of the conversation tonight. Thank you. Great. I I'm going to start with you, um, Dr. Lloyd. You are a member of the People's Democratic Party. The, the, uh, when this matter first became a news issue, um, it, it, we saw that the government of River State was tight-lipped. Nobody wanted to speak on uh, the issue when many, the story broke that um, the governor of Delta State was picked as a preferred um, running mate for the former vice president, Atiku Abubakar. But then now we're hearing um, all kinds of things coming from the government. In fact, there was a group that put out a, a list of demands uh, to the um, PDP asking for a one tenure um, for the um, PDP candidate. They also asked that um, Senator Yocha Ayu um, also step down. Um, and one would wonder, uh, could how realistic are these demands and, and why is this hitting so um, hard on the River State governor? Um, because a lot of people would say that for, for him to be a party man, should this not slide? Dr. Lloyd, can you hear me? Dr. Lloyd, are you still there? Can you hear me? <coughs> I don't think that uh, you can hear me, Dr. Lloyd. I'm going to move. I'm going to toss this question to um, Chief um, Obonamuke. Um, would you like to join the conversation and tell me what your thoughts are? All right. Uh, frankly, first we must accept that uh, the presidential flag bearer does have responsibility to choose who, who would work with him. And um, nobody's going to question that. But perhaps the issue here is how the issue was handled. Um, the presidential candidate, in his wisdom, decided that a set of party officials, high-ranking party officials, should uh, help make a decision. And the information we have suggests that, yeah, uh, uh, at the level of the party focus, and even at the end of UC, there were clear decisions taken by a majority of party members. Notwithstanding, the, the presidential flag bearer chose his own path. And uh, perhaps the greatest challenge he left on the trail was his line of communication. 
And uh, one would expect that the one who claims to be unifier, who believes in the notion of one Nigeria, who understands uh, what and how politics can be very, you know, would have picked his words and chosen his uh, part, clearly. Uh, and there will be no problems emanating uh, from the choice, supposed choice of a candidate. Now, I think that those who are throwing uh, or drawing attention to the fact that the governor of River State is angry over what has transpired are trying to miss the point and trying to mislead the public. What is at stake here is balance within the party. The fact that you have the presidential candidate from the north, the fact that you have the party chairman, national chairman from the north. And those who are arguing that these issues be treated are correct because the constitution of the PDP is such that it has made provisions for some balance of power and some power sharing. You know, so to have a situation where we have moved away from a rotational principle that truly placed the candidate of the PDP at this time in the south to, uh, to the north and then provided an argument that power is negotiated, not, not given. Uh, it's in my mind uh, an attempt to write the constitution of the PDP. So let us be, as we open this conversation, be frank. It is not the, 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 the decision taken by Atiku and Co that has generated this kind of reaction that we are getting in the PDP right now. Uh, the, the fact is, no one can justify injustice. And what we are dealing with in the PDP right now is an attitude, a cavalier attitude that suggests we don't care, uh, an attitude that says we can go ahead and do anything we want, an attitude that suggests that we will win without you, that people who are doing this should go back to history. Now to the 2015 elections, the same problem erupted in the PDP, where, which led to the creation of the new PDP. The rest is history. PDP lost that election on account of some level of arrogance demonstrated at that time. And this form of arrogance that we are seeing at this point in time is baffling. You have not won an election, you have behaving like you have won one. And I think it's terrible. All right, uh, let me go back to Dr. Lloyd. I, I think he's back with us. D Dr. Lloyd, I, I, now Mr. Mr. Wuke is saying here that it's not necessarily what's happened, it's how it happened. So I'm tossing to you now. What should the uh, Atiku um, campaign team have done? What should the candidate have done that would have made it better, that would have, you know, one way or the other, sat well with not just Governor Wuke, but of course members of his team? Well, first and foremost, I want to thank you for this opportunity and to say clearly that I've been sure Governor Nelson Wike set out to contest for the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And uh, he did so uh, under the premise of the constitution of the, of the, of the party, uh, as enumerated uh, by my brother, uh, Wanda Wike. Section 7 of the Constitution of the PDP provides that there, should, there will be, among other things, rotation of power. And uh, one would one thought that, rightly, power should shift to the South. But Abinishio, Yota Ayu had a sinister motive when he came in. And for the first time in the history of the PDP, rather than take a position, they put the threw open the contest for the for the, the primaries. And of course, the, the primaries had come and gone, uh, winner had emerged, even if we still fought the process of winning. Because when candidates were given five minutes each to speak, there was no provision for another candidate to come back to either want to step up or step down. But as a party man, uh, Governor Yes of Wike is, Rather than begin to make uh, 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 
issues out of what happened in the venue of the primary. We took everything as an act of God, and we came back home here to concentrate on governance. Then until we started hearing comments from persons who think they are close to Atiku Abubakar, and I had I had advised in a in a in a in a medium other than your own that it is one thing to be a flag bearer of a political party. It is another thing to be the, a winner, which ultimately will make you president. And like I want to, I want to align myself with the sentiments expressed by Obunna Uke. When you say that uh, people are, were already behaving as if they had become president already, and carrying on as if you can do without a section of the country. So when we now saw associates of Atiku Abubakar, like the former governor of Niger State, uh, the Ali Ubabangida, the former governor of Jigawa State, uh, Fulo Lamido, and all the others who are jostling for positions in the Atiku government, begin to make statements that suggest as if uh, Governor Wike uh, was a troublemonger. And even the candidate himself, while unveiling, unveiling his preferred choice, was also uncharitable with his comments on that day. You know, when you give the impression that you chose somebody who can be president, you leave it to all kinds of uh, canons of interpretation, as if those who were not chosen do not have the capacity to be president. And we have also read uh, General Lucien Mouabazan just books about the candidate of the PDP. But, well, we let us see how far they can go. We here in River State, we are firmly uh, under the control and leadership of Governor Yezo Wike. Wherever he says we will go, we will go. Whatever he says we should do, we will do. We are like Ruth, Ruth talking to Esther. Um, to God shall be our God. Do, Dr. Lloyd, Dr. Lloyd, I'm sorry to talk over you, but let me come in here quickly because I want to make reference to a video that just surfaced by uh, a, a member of a former member of the House of um, Assembly, Lee Meba, uh, speaking uh, about uh, Governor Wike's, um, you know, actions and inactions. Um, you know, still surfacing as a result of this, you know, peace talks and the fact that he has broken down. But you also sound like. The governor of River State, and again, people like you, his followers, have already made up your mind as to walking against this government, this this campaign that is yet to even start. Because you said, "Let's see how far they can go." You say they as if they you're no longer members of the People's Democratic Party. What does that mean? Doctor Lloyd, can you hear me? I think we lost your audio there, but let's go to that video um, um, credited to a YouTube channel. And, and that is not correct. You are imputing improper motives. Well, you, I'm just quoting what you just said now. You said, let's see how no, far no, 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 they no, no, can no, go. No, and I'm asking, no, I'm probing say, that question. I didn't say, and I didn't say that we will not support Atiku Abubakar. What I said is that the direction will come from the governor of River State who is the leader of the People's Democratic Party here. And what, I heard myself when I was talking. And, when I and so I'm, pro I'm probing you, the last statement which you, are, you just made, let's see how far they no, no. can go. What does that mean? You're a member of the PDP. Uh, no, I, 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 was, I was quoting copiously from the Bible. And I made reference to uh, the pleadings filed by Ruth to her, to her madam, where she said that, Ruth, her uh, Esther's people shall be her people, and her God shall be, Esther's God shall be I'm sure you mean Naomi. People. I'm sure you mean Naomi. But let's go to that video. Um, Naomi, thank you very much. Yes, let's go to that video, gentlemen, and I'd like for you to quickly watch this video, uh, and then I'll come back to you to find out your thoughts. Kinley, let's take a look at it. We can refuse any of us in River State to buy from, to campaign for, for the governorship of River State. He bought 14 of us from and want any of us not to campaign. Anybody who tried to campaign, we care is ready to take on you. But I follow him to 20 something state.
campaigning to delegates. We don't know who is a delegate in Rivers. The list of delegates were not published. Of course, why we do all that is to make sure we produce a governor at the center and not foolishness. So if we see anybody who wants to stop us from producing that governor of the center, then the person needs to know what is factual for. But if you stop us from working for Tiku, what are you angry about anti-party? That is the anti-party to the highest level. I start to be corrected. And I'm telling you, the person who was saying not anti-party, you this is the middle of our campaign, and you line up the boost men. Namako is coming tomorrow. But the Brahman is coming on Friday. Why do you line up the boost men? To come because after after the commission, they go and start to talk. What is it telling them in the house? In the middle of a campaign, you are highlighting APC, you are highlighting Tinibu above our own candidates. We as you can see, that um, um, Honorable Lee Meba talking about the governor's um, actions. Of course, we, we saw the video of the commissioning of that flyover uh, in River State. And he's questioning the governor's motives. So I'm going to come back to you, um, Chief Muke. Before I, come, I go to Isaac Mubula, I want to come back to you, Chief Muke. Um, what do you think that Lee Meba is talking about here? He's saying, well... This is what's happened in the state. And now the governor, in his words, is stopping them from campaigning for Atiku. And he's saying, you're also lining up members of the APC, who he called um, Atiku's men. And he's wondering, is this not anti-party? Chief Muke, can you hear me? You need to unmute yourself, Chief Muke, so we can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. All right. I'm saying that it's amazing that uh, uh, Senator Lee Meba will make this kind of comment. First, uh, I want us to remove this from the realm of propaganda because uh, Lee seems to make comments that are not on the street here in rivers. We are not, I speak as a person that I'm not aware that the governor of River State has asked anyone in River State not to, not to work for uh, Atiku Abubakar. That is not true. I am also aware that while uh, those who wanted to be governor had their chance, there were people, some of them, people like uh, Felix Uboa, who hit the trail, who made moves, who indicated that he wanted to be governor. Now, men like Nii Meba plainly wanted to be endorsed. And if the idea was to get endorsed and you were not endorsed, why are you angry? So it doesn't make sense. Now, the other one, let's go back to the commissioning. It will not be the first time that people who are not PDP members have gone to River State to commission projects. At least in the immediate past, one can recall that Senator Rochas Okorocha was among those who came to River State to commission projects, and Lee can testify to that. What we are talking about right now is not political party. We are People who are eminent Nigerians have been invited to River State to commission projects. Now, take uh, uh, Sango, for example, Sango is a performing governor, and he is governor of Lagos State. And everyone agrees that stars don't prepare, stars are trapped. So if the River State governor invited uh, Baba Jide Sango to commission a project, I don't see why anybody should impute politics into it. These people are members of the Governor's Forum. They are friends too. They are associates. So how, how can you claim that the mere invitation extended to a project governor to commission a project in Rivers is political? I know that they have not commissioned the, 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 the assembly quarters. The Speaker of the House of Representatives has been invited to commission that. Let me ask you, would you respect my sister? 
who is better qualified in this country at this time to commission the accommodation of lawmakers? Who is likely to align properly when it comes to issues of legislation better than the speaker? So I think that uh, uh, lied, uh, lying in you know, some part of propaganda, and that uh, he, incidentally, who is my friend, uh, hasn't spoken the truth. I, I think that he has. Uh, let me, let he's me. overreacting. Nobody is stopping him from supporting Atiku. Okay. And uh, if he's going ahead to support Atiku, let him go ahead and support Atiku. I think that what is critical at this point is that the PDP is still trying to have conversations across board. Okay. And that's what matters. And that's where men like Governor Yes and Wiki have invested their energy. There has to be some conversation. Everybody who understands how this is run, say there must be some conversation. Okay. They understand the fact that in order to move forward as a team, as a unit, that issues that are dividing us at this time as party men must be addressed. So all right. Know, All right. Uh, Chibuke, but it doesn't make sense to me. Let me let me move to let me move back to Dr. Lloyd before I come to the APC man. Um, Dr. Lloyd, um, yeah. Mr. Muke is saying that there is no iota of truth and that he is a propagandist. I'm I'm using that word lo loosely because he's saying that there is no iota of truth in what he's saying. But why would a member of your political party who's claimed to work with your governor within the state for this long want to all of a sudden try to make the governor look bad at a critical time as this, being that the party should be trying to band together in preparation for the campaign in itself. Why? Now, Miriam, by his, by his own showing, by the showing of uh, Lido, maybe, uh, it, it's a marks of frustration. And I refer to all he has said as the natural, the natural marble of negativity. Let uh, go was following Governor Wike everywhere, according to him, so that he would be crowned governor of River State by his own showing. Now, when, when that didn't happen, he ran to Abuja and, and he's now selling the kind of narrative that he is selling. See, the, the Ledogo has told the world that he's not qualified to be governor. When a man who wakes up to want to rule his people is told by another man walking on two legs not to buy form, and he agrees. The, man, the same man tells you, don't campaign. He agrees. But yeah, but is it, he have an issue? Isn't the, he isn't, an issue isn't the governor, the, the governor. Is, isn't the governor of your state the leader of the party in the state? Isn't he the one that leads the, the governor, PDP. The so if, if the, the let's say, if the governor were to say that, shouldn't he, shouldn't he heed to it if the governor were to give that order? I'm just saying, as a party man. Okay, now how does it work? How do you get elected? You want to be governor of River State. Somebody tells you, don't buy from, don't come out in the morning, you say yes, sir. Don't wake up, you say yes, sir. Is it the governor that is telling you the, uh, the interviews is running in the, that hotel room in Abuja? Is it the governor that gave him the script? He's reciting. These are the narratives they are selling to people. They feel they don't have a place here again in Port in River State. So they must sell these narratives to Atiku Abubakar so that they will have space. It's so unfortunate. Let the, let the governor, and so, I'm, 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 I'm reluctant to address him as, as a senator. If Let the governor does not know, that Speaker Bajabi Amina is the head of all the speakers of the of, of state assemblies. Because in the event that any state assembly is shut down, it is the House of Representatives that will make legislation on behalf of that assembly. So you can see the quality of people we send out. It's, of, it's unfortunate that a man spends eight years in the red chamber and do not know the rudiments of legislature. You see, you see the state we are in, and this fellow had the effort to even aspire to want to be governor of Riverside. Well, he's not here. So we thank God for the, for the, for, for, for the delegates who, 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 who saw through the lines of Lenovo. 
and they refused to, to vote him. So out of frustration, he is went he has moved to Abuja to 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 now if he does not well, even the, se understand, the senator is not here to defend himself. So, so I would not allow for you to, to understand. I would not Let allow for you if to he speak does not down understand that there is a problem that the that the chairman of the board of trustee of BDP is from the north, that the candidate himself is from the north. That is uh, the, 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 the national chairman himself is from the north. Then no, the let go has no business. All right, let me go to the APC gentleman who's been quietly waiting and listening to this conversation. Mr. Um, Obobula, let's talk about what's happened in the States uh, in the last 24 hours where uh, members of your party, governors, APC governors, were in your state uh, as guests of the governor of River State. This has gotten a lot of tongues wagging um, and speaking about anti-party activity. Now, you're an APC man. Um, you obviously are watching from the sidelines as to what's happening. I know that the APC does have its fair share of trials within the state, but what are your thoughts? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. And when you introduce me, you refer to me as a chief. I am not a chief. The one who is a chief amongst us here is a chief of Bona Wukeng. Um, I'm a lawyer and I'm a minister. Thank you. Okay. Um, let me quickly say this. For honors, um, can I go on? Yes, please. Yes, all that uh, has been talked about so far uh, between uh, uh, you, the moderator, Dr. Chidi Deloitte, and Chief Obama Uke. Uh, border on the internal affairs of the PDP. And I, I'm not sure that um, I would like to delve into the internal affairs of the PDP. Well, I'm asking, you, but, I'm um, asking you about the allegations of anti-party um, against the governor. Many are saying that the governor is tilting towards the APC. And you could, you could see, as you saw in the video where Lee Meba was saying, that bringing or lining up, in his words, Tinubu's men was tantamount to anti-party. Is Governor Wike, is, are your doors open to welcome Governor Wike if there be a chance, ever? Okay. A uh, political party is there to win elections. That's the bottom line for a political party. And for us, um, interestingly, we'll be watching what, uh, as an opposition party in the state, we'll be watching what is all going on in the PDP and see how uh, at any point, uh, you know, we can we can we can better our chances of winning elections in the state. That's the bottom line. Would Governor uh, Wike better your party. chances? Would Governor Wike, if there if there were to be a chance, if Governor Wike or members of the PDP, especially um, those who seem to be aggrieved right now within the state, were to look in your direction, would your doors be open to them, and why? That's why you feel, you allow me to finish talking. Uh, I'm saying that I've started by saying that that's the bottom line for the political platform is to win elections, and the APC is not an exception. If, and, and winning elections is about number and influence on the number of persons that you can bring to the table to help you win elections. So, at any point, any member of the society, uh, whether it's the governor of River State or any other person, uh, where they, they indicate interest in joining the, the APC. Well and good. The, the doors are usually open for for uh, more persons to join the party towards winning the election. We don't have a problem. I'm not sure that we have. I'm speaking for myself. I don't have a problem with that. Hmm. And and with all that that that's been happening in River State, especially for the fact that you within your party you've lost certain persons. Especially, uh, I think the senator Senator Magnus Abid recently left and moved to the SDP um, because of, according to his group issues that he had with the Minister of Transportation. How well do you think that a Governor Wiki and the Minister, former Minister of Transportation uh, would work together in building the party? Will that ever be able to happen any time in the future? Well, for us, at any point, any, person, any member of the society decides to join the political party. Once the person is a member of the political party, uh, he has a ball rights with any other person who has been a member of the party. If that happens, of course, um, every party will work together towards delivering the APC in the state and in the country. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. I'm not sure that the Minister of Transportation uh, will be advanced to any, any member of the society joining, who was not a member of the party, joining the party. 
and to any point towards winning election. The bottom line for us is to win elections in river states. And any person who comes on board to help us do that, yes, why not? But you and why I not? but you and I we'll know that Governor Wick is just not any member of society. He's the number one man in the state mm -hmm. as we speak. I mean, at least until next year. So I, you seem not to want to answer that question, but I'll ask again. Oh, well, if His Excellency, the Governor of River State, if it gets to that point where the Excellency Governor of River State decides to join APC, fair and good. We will welcome him open hands. I'm not sure that we have difficulties in doing that. Why should it even arise? I mean, we will, we will, it will be a welcome development as far as I'm concerned. And then that means it's going to enhance the chances of the party winning elections in the state books and perhaps in the country. All right, finally, a question uh, to Dr. Lloyd before we wrap this up. In one sentence, Dr. Lloyd, um, if at this point in the um, election season, the, the PDP seems to be having this kind of an issue, knowing also that River State uh, does hold its ground when it comes to numbers, the numbers that it adds to the election, because again, this is a game of numbers. Um, if the PDP is unable to deal with this issue at this time, what's the guarantee that the PDP can even win the elections or even stand a chance against the opposition and, of course, the emerging parties? And what needs to be done quickly? Well, Marian, I, I, I do not want to uh, claim the place of Nostradamus who saw tomorrow. But what I want to tell you, I can tell you for free. Even my brother Isaac Bogogula knows that there is no other political party in River State other than the People's Democratic Party. What we are waiting for is just for the time to come and we swear in our new governor, Sumala Sibilai. The words of the governor up to now. I'm sorry, elections uh, have uh, not can, happened. Can, but what, 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 what governor? That's still working. Dr. Lloyd, elections are yet to happen. What governor are you talking about? That's what I'm telling you. We are family on land here. I can tell you that. I left the whole progressive congress for the PDP. But that, that, that to, decision solely lies with the people of River State. It's not you. You have one vote, sir. You cannot determine that. I am that. chairman of a member of a local government. But you I have one you vote. Maybe you I, do have one and vote. And you are here too. You are in this state. There is no political party here. Every day, people leave the whole progressive congress in droves, writing all kinds of letters from descriptive essay to narrative and all that. We are here. If I'm chairman of an LGA, I can tell you for free what goes on here. Okay. People are poised more than ever before to return. Of course, this state has always been the, the, the PGP we have state. To so whatever is happening at the national level, I'm sure that the candidates about now, and we will do a lot to see how people can come together and okay. make peace. We and, have to uh, go. We have one to go. advice for him is that the candidate should stay clear of the lives of Ledobo. Okay, we have to go. Thank you so much. Um, uh, we want to say thank you to Dr. Chidi Lloyd. We want to say thank you, Chief uh, Obuna Muke. And of Thanks course, very much for and me. we also want to say thank you to uh, Barrister Isaac Obut Obobula. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for being part of the conversation. It's, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. And we'll take a quick break. Thank you all for being part of this conversation. When we come back, we'll be talking about the security of Nigeria and the state of the nation. More people from the train attacks have been released. But what more can we do to keep Nigeria safe? Stay tuned. We'll be right back.